What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about real front end interview questions that I've gotten uh, throughout my career, applying for jobs from big companies, small companies, uh, public sector, private sector, and just uh, what are reasonable questions that you get asked during the different stages of an interview. Uh, usually, you know, you'll go through a, a phone screen, a, a technical screen, from a distance and then maybe an in-person whiteboarding interview. So I'm going to try and cover all of that with uh, some real world examples of stuff that I've had to do in interviews. So uh, let's dive right in. Okay, so I should uh, note just to start that, uh, you know, a lot of questions in interviews are somewhat confidential and, uh, you know, the companies put a lot of work into uh, figuring out what's going to be a good question to determine the kind of candidates that we want to get. Uh, but the kind of questions that uh, I'm going to show you, I don't think are really spoiling anything. A lot of the stuff is stuff that you could look up if you didn't know it. So I'm not quite so sure if it's really a great test uh, in the first place, but I don't really think I'm spoiling anything uh, here with these particular companies. So uh, this first uh, example is going to be from, uh, for those of you that don't know, has a uh, design practice in which they have uh, project managers, designers, and front-end developers who work on a variety of projects. Um, they have a variety of design studios as well. And uh, I applied for a front-end developer position with them and uh, ended up getting an offer, which is a whole different story. But uh, this is uh, what they sent as the take-home assignment. So turning here to um, the assignment itself. So the first question just uh, has a few classes, uh, CSS classes, and just wants to know what I thought about uh, the way that it was written. So this is a kind of an open-ended question. I don't think there was any real answer. I ended up saying something about how I preferred, um, you know, the card taking up full width uh, on the smaller screen sizes with the media query. Uh, as you can see here, and then uh, just mentioned a few things about um, Flexbox and kind of what I thought about that. Uh, and then uh, the next one are um, free response questions in JavaScript. So uh, fairly common interview question, I think, the difference between uh, double equals and triple equals. Again, back to my earlier point, I'm not sure why you would put this on a take home. Um, I guess you're assuming that everyone is going to be um, honest in their responses, but if you didn't know JavaScript that well, it wouldn't be that hard to look up uh, the difference between strict equals and uh, double equals. So that was the first question. The second favorite, favorite uh, ES6 feature and why. And so I think that's just trying to gauge uh, if you're up on the new standards and the things that are coming into the language. And then, um, Third, it's a, a for loop and uh, wanting to know the value of i each time it's being printed out. Uh, and then um, last, Fibonacci. This is a fairly common interview question. Uh, it's uh, essentially you're adding the uh, last two numbers together and returning uh, the result of that and essentially adding it to an array and then just doing it uh, again, and so um, you can uh, write an algorithm. That, that what this is asking is that you can write an algorithm that can calculate this infinitely. Uh, and so then there's some uh, cultural questions. Uh, favorite project you've worked on, which is um, something that I like to ask. I um, tend to interview uh, some front end candidates as well, so that's great. And then uh, what did you contribute and challenges you face? So pretty typical behavioral stuff. Um, so we'll move on um, from there. Okay, so um, this is a coding challenge from a company called uh, Now, again, I don't feel bad about showing this because if you don't know how to implement it, uh, then you don't know how to implement it and me showing uh, you, this is not going to help, I don't think. And so, 
Uh, I ended up not getting past this stage of the interview. I think uh, it's kind of one of those open-ended things where you can take it as far as you like, and I think maybe I didn't take that as far as I should have. Uh, I should note that uh, both this and the last one is going on two years ago now, so things likely have changed since then. But uh, this is fairly common. I think it's um, it's just implementing a mock-up. So they um, likely had the designers uh, design a fairly straightforward uh, mock-up in Photoshop and then your job is to implement it. And so uh, the idea was to use vanilla JavaScript in something like a code pen and uh, to use as little framework as possible. And so, uh, like I said, it was kind of open-ended, probably didn't take it as far as I should have, but just to show you, this is what one of them looked like. So it's a, um, it's a wallet and it looks like you would be able to add different credit cards and then see um, potential transactions for each of those. And so I could see maybe when you click the plus, you're, you've got a constructor function that generates a new uh, card. Uh, I could see maybe dynamically determining uh, the logo of the different credit card company based on what the numbers are, uh, which is tough when they're all starred out like that. Uh, and so uh, I can show what I ended up doing. So uh, this is what I ended up doing. It's, um, it's not perfect. Uh, so looking back on it now, I can kind of see why that didn't work. Uh, but I got, uh, you know, you can enter a new card, Visa, and then, you know, submit, and then, but it didn't actually update anything. So, you know, looking back on this, I can kind of see why uh, they didn't pass me along to the next stage. Um, I guess I, I probably didn't do as much on this as I should have, but, um, you know, fairly inexperienced at the time, just out of school, and so uh, I'm not going to beat myself up too much for that one, but um, implementing a design is something very common that you're likely to see on the interview trail. Um, I'm going to show something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. So this is um, for um, applying for um, a job in the public sector with the city government. So uh, this one, to be honest, overwhelmed me at the time and I, I don't think I was interested enough in the job to pursue it. Uh, I ended up taking a different job in the public sector at the end of this job search, coincidentally enough, but um, I remember this one just really overwhelming me. Let's go ahead and look at it. So, um, so they've got this app and um, basically they wanted a dashboard designed and uh, they've got this data that they just gave in a Google Sheet. And I think that was the part that was uh, the most overwhelming to me. I didn't really think about, you know, maybe you can convert this into JSON or some other uh, format that's a little bit easier to work with, or maybe use Node and loop through it. Uh, there's a lot of different things, but essentially um, you are supposed to implement uh, a dashboard app where people can submit service requests uh, or other kind of requests and have them show up um, maybe use maps in some way and show like where the frequency of requests is coming from and so uh, these three aspects you can see here data design and development um, which is pretty interesting so basically you take the data you um, you approach it, you can design with Sketch and Photoshop, and then uh, you can dive directly into the CSS, it says as well, and then, um, so you can use a regular framework, React, Angular 2. Um, they're re rebuilding this app using React and Redux, which is interesting, and they want it to be hosted on GitHub pages. And so this one was hefty um, and in kind of weighing my excitement for the job and what was it was asking of me in this um, task, I decided to go ahead and move on to 
to something else, but it would have been interesting to try and tackle. So uh, that's what you could potentially expect from uh, a public sector job. I don't think that is uh, ordinary to be uh, asking for that level of development and time spent. And so uh, in conclusion, you know, no, um, no two processes are the same but I think that uh, you can typically expect some mixture of uh, open-ended take-home, a take-home project, and then if you have an on-site, some kind of whiteboarding or um, algorithms to solve during the interview. I think sites like Code Wars and HackerRank are great for that. Uh, check below to see links to some videos I've done solving algorithms there. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe and uh, look out for more videos. Please don't uh, be shy to let me know what you'd like to see and I'm happy to uh, share what I've learned so far in this industry. Uh, thanks, see you next time.